Welcome to a presentation of Chapter 1, Section 2 in McDougal Attell's 8th grade textbook entitled Order of Operations. I have two definitions today. First is the definition of a numerical expression, an expression that consists of numbers and operations. An expression that consists of numbers and operations. And the definition of evaluate to find the value of a numerical expression. To find the value of a numerical expression. There are four steps in the order of operation. Four steps are as follows. First step is parentheses. Now the first thing under parentheses says that nested parentheses have to be done inside out. And you're probably asking yourself, what are nested parentheses? <coughs> nested parentheses are simply parentheses that are inside another set of parentheses. And there can be infinitely numbers. You can have five little parentheses inside of one big one. When that happens, the one that's closest to the inside has to be done first, and then you work your way out. And we'll have an example like that. Otherwise, parentheses follow steps two to four, meaning that you'll do exponents ahead of the other things. Step two is exponents. Now, I'm refreshing your memory here with a little vocabulary, which is the only reason I put this down here. I have the power z to the third here or z cubed. I want to remind you that that whole thing is called the power. The exponent is just the 3. Okay. Just the 3. That's what the exponent is. Just to refresh your memory. It's not something tricky. It's not meant to be tricky. I'm just reminding you that the 3 is what's called the exponent, not the whole thing. Question? Uh, what is that? In which one? Uh, 3 and 4. 3 and 4. I'm going to do that right now. Okay. okay. Step three, you're supposed to multiply and divide left to right. In step four, we add and subtract left to right. As opposed to writing left to right twice, I just did a big parenthesis and wrote it once because I thought you'd like to be equally as lazy as I am. Question. Is the thing showing longer a word? Just one side of Right. Again, the order of operations, in order. Step one is the order of operations. We do nested parentheses inside out. Again, nested parentheses are just parentheses that's inside another set of parentheses. Otherwise, they follow steps two to four. Step two is to take care of exponents. Step three is to multiply and divide left to right. Step four is to add and subtract left to right. Now, I will point out in your textbook, exponents is not in there. And the reason why exponents is not in there is because they don't teach exponents until later on in the book. When they teach it, then they go back and reteach you order of operations and they put exponents back in, which doesn't make any sense to me. I'm just going to teach it to you the right way the first time instead of messing around and going back and reteaching it. It doesn't make any sense. Up at the top of the board, you'll find a mnemonic device to remember this. Most of you probably use PEMDAS or something like it, but there's, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, in case you're unfamiliar with it, the first letter of each word matches the order of the order of operations. P for parentheses, E for exponent, M for multiply, D for divide, A for add, and S for subtract. I will tell you now, because my memory seems to be working today, one of the first questions on your quiz that you'll have next Friday is just simply says, what are the order of operations? You have to give them to me in order. So you need to be able to tell me parentheses, exponents, multiply, divide, add, and subtract. You don't have to give me all the other stuff like the nested and the left to right. You just have to know that they go in that order. Question? It doesn't matter to me. All right, so let's go.
go ahead and work through examples one through five, which are about the order of operations, and then we'll get to our other topic over here in example six. These problems do require you to show work, which means I'm going to expect to see some work in tonight's homework, which most of you probably don't like, but you're going to have to deal with it. Um, the work is not exorbitant. It's not going to take you a long time to show the work for each question. I'll show you what I want, and I'll even let you do a little bit less than that. I'll explain what we'll get to. Let's take a look at example one, which says 7 plus 16 times 3 divided by 6. 7 plus 16 times 3 divided by 6. Right. In that problem, we have adding, multiplying, and dividing. The one that comes first, according to the list, since there's no parentheses in the neck, no exponents, would be the multiplying and the dividing. We remember, as it says down there, we just worked them left to right. Then. So the multiplying has to get done first, this multiplication. So the first thing I want to do is 16 times 3. And 16 times 3, I'll do it for you because I'm a nice guy, is 48. The parts I haven't used yet come right down with them. So I've still got to have 7 plus in the front. I've still got to have divided by 6 in the back. All right. Now, so the next thing then would be the division because we were working just left to right. So I want to then do 48 divided by 6. And I will tell you that 48 divided by 6 is 8. So I've got 7. Eight. And then all you got to do, not tricky because there's only thing one left to do, one thing left to do, 7 plus 8. And 7 plus 8 is 15. There you go. Now, as far as showing work, pretty much like that is what I'm going to expect to see. Obviously, though, I don't need to see the squiggles. I do that so you can see what I did first. You don't have to do the squiggles. Some people in third hour ask me, can I just do the problem left to right instead of going down? That's fine by me too. Okay, if you just want to write it all out in one line going across, I'm fine with that. I don't have a problem with that. Okay. Let's go to example two. Four times parentheses, six minus three, and parentheses. So I have multiplication and subtraction. Some of you are probably thinking, well, I got the multiplication first. Wrong. There's parentheses here. Parentheses are always the thing we do first, no matter what. So the thing that has to get taken care of first is the 6 minus 3. Some tricky math for you today. 6 minus 3 is equal to? 3. 3. And I've still got the 4 times in front. 